President Biden met with the president of Poland amid much fanfare Tuesday, where he reaffirmed the United States' commitment to its European allies. Our support for Ukraine will not waver. NATO will not be divided, and we will not tire. The president arrived in Warsaw after an unannounced visit to Ukraine Monday that was meant to show solidarity with the war-torn nation and send a defiant message to Russia nearly one year since the invasion began. I just come from a visit to Kyiv, and I can report Kyiv stands strong. But Russian President Vladimir Putin sent a defiant message of his own in his State of the Nation address. Putin said his nation would not be defeated in battle and announced that Russia will suspend its participation in the new START treaty, which limits each country to no more than 1,550 deployed nuclear warheads and 700 deployed missiles and bombers. The agreement includes on-site inspections to verify compliance. By suspending the last remaining nuclear arms control pact with the United States, Russia has significantly ramped up tensions with the West. Biden administration officials were quick to condemn the action. The announcement by uh, Russia that it's uh, suspending participation in Lusart is deeply unfortunate and irresponsible. Uh, we'll be watching carefully to see what uh, Russia actually does. The head of the United Nations also spoke out against Putin's announcement and encouraged Russia to reconsider. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.